Hello, thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles. This is the Foundation for Inner Peace, 3rd Edition. We are in Chapter 15, The Holy Instant, Section 7, The Needless Sacrifice, and this is Paragraph 11. The Holy Spirit cannot teach through fear, and how can he communicate with you while you believe that to communicate is to make yourself alone? It is clearly insane to believe that by communicating you will be abandoned. And yet many do believe it, for they think their minds must be kept private or they will lose them. But if their bodies are together, their minds remain their own. The union of bodies thus becomes the way in which they would keep their minds apart. For bodies cannot forgive. They can only do as the mind directs. The illusion of the autonomy of the body and its ability to overcome loneliness is but the working of the ego's plan to establish its own autonomy. As long as you believe that to be with a body is companionship, you will be compelled to attempt to keep your brother in his body held there by guilt and you will see safety in guilt and danger in communication. For the ego will always teach that loneliness is solved by guilt and that communication is the cause of loneliness. And despite the evident insanity of this lesson, many have learned it. Forgiveness lies in communication as surely as damnation lies in guilt. It is the Holy Spirit's teaching function to instruct those who believe in communication to be damnation that communication is salvation. And he will do so for the power of God in him and you is joined in a real relationship so holy and so strong that it can overcome even this without fear. It is through the holy instant that what seems impossible is accomplished, making it evident that it is not impossible. In the holy instant, guilt, guilt holds no attraction since communication has been restored. And guilt, whose only purpose is to disrupt communication, has no function here. Here, there is no concealment and no private thoughts. The willingness to communicate attracts communication to it and overcomes loneliness completely. There is complete forgiveness here, for there is no die desire. I don't know why I can't speak today. For there is no desire to exclude anyone from your completion in sudden recognition of the value of his part in it. In the protection of your wholeness, all are invited and made welcome, and you understand that your completion is God's, whose only need is to have you be complete. For your completion makes you his in your awareness, and here it is that you experience yourself as you were created and as you are. And that is the conclusion of section 7 in chapter 15, The Holy Instant. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful day and thank you so much for joining with me.